Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I had a bonus video this week because, and I'm sorry I did not look at the person's name before I came. I asked if there was another color that I should put into, you know, add to these because I wanted five and I only had four. So I have yellow orange, big fat blue, skinny pink, and about a, well, skinny to medium sized green. Uh, those are all subject to weight changes. <laughs> um, so somebody said purple. I did see the comment and I'm sorry I cannot give her credit. Wait, let me go look real quick and then I'll be right back. Okay, it was Patricia and I know I'm going to massacre your name. I'm so sorry. Is it Struford? I think Struford. Sounds German, huh? I don't know. Anyway, so she said purple for another signature, and that is what I did. So while I was thinking about the purple stuff, I found a box that I'd saved, and it's Club Cracker Box. You know, it was already cut and ready to go, except for it was a little too tall. As you can see, I put my pencil mark up there and ended up not quite getting close enough to that. And when I did that, I sliced my finger open on the lovely paper cutter. So we're in recovery mode with Mr. Pointer here. All right, so I think that these should fit nicely in here. Now these are extra papers in the signatures that I plan to use or I'm thinking about using, but I think that I could cut just a hair more off of it for the height, but the, um, this right here is perfect for me. So there's that. So now I have a box and then I still need to cover it. What with? I'm not sure yet. All right, so I took Patricia's advice and ta-da! Here's a purple. All right, so a lot of this stuff I had when I, um, I watched a lot of Corey Dahman videos and I did several books. If y'all have seen my past videos, I did several of her books. But I made a bunch of stuff from scraps in advance and put them in these... Let me find it. Put them in envelopes like this. You know, I did a bunch of stuff in preparation of future books in colors that I was working on at the time. I went ahead and made extras. And you will see some of these in the signatures here because they were made in advance and I really didn't have to do a whole lot of work. Um, this one is just a little simple envelope. There's nothing in it currently. The closure is made with a uh, brad, and uh, I had to cut this off at the top because when I put this in and that in, they rubbed, and I did not measure before I did it. Ta-da, what a shock. All right, there's that. And then this is a um, vellum envelope that I had stored other stuff in until I got those better plastic containers, and the, I went over it with the... Elderberry Memento Lux color. I have Elderberry and I have, what's the other one? Sweet Plum. So one slightly darker than the other. Found a butterfly in my stash. I think this came from a friend. I don't think there's anything in here, is there? No. Um, went over it with the stencil. It's just glued on there. And I, oh, and then I left a place in the back. Let me, what do I need here for this? Dee, 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 dee. Hang on one second. I did leave a place in the back so I could put something else. So it has storage capacity this way and then, of course, inside the envelope. But I don't know if I'll put anything in the envelope because I just like the way the butterfly looks with the um, stencil. All right. And, and the ends, I did. My friend mailed me a bunch of her stencils, like six of them. And I went through... Where's the stuff? Did I put, oh, I put it all away. Okay, so I went through with the stencils on some coffee dye strips that I had in my stash, and I used her stencils. Then I took the stencils, I sewed black thread around them, and then I folded them over the ends of the pages, just for grins and giggles. So there's that, so you can see where it's sewn with the black and it's over the edge. Then I had a scrap piece of paper and I didn't want to waste it, so I just cut a little off of it and made a triangle to go over the corner. This was something I did in advance with the stencil and watercolor. That was a lot of fun. This 
was to have some kind of a book inside it, but I hate to cover up this part too, too much. So if I don't want to do anything else to it, this will, this can slide in here. This is just a random, you know how you get the scrapbook cardstock stuff that looks like book cards and all kinds of old timey prints. I could put that in there and I could leave this off. That way I can see the stamp with the vegetables on it. This was from something I made a long time ago when I did those Cory books, that series of her books. And then I just had the number six cut out randomly. This I made recently, this pocket, staggered pocket. This was some kind of a um, cardstock, double-sided cardstock, and I like the print size. I purged all my, well, not, I didn't purge all of it, but I purged a lot of my scrapbook paper that I didn't use. When I went, I had already gotten rid of 25 of the 12 by 12 pads and donated them to a local senior center, senior center where I live. But the other stuff sat under my desk for like two years, and I thought, well, if I haven't used it by now, it's not happening. So I went through all the pads that were left. They were about 20 pads left. And I ripped out all the 12 by 12 paper I really liked. And this was one of them that had the print and stuff on it. These were scrapbook paper also, but these came out of my purple scrapbook. Uh, this, not this one, but one like it, you know, the, the uh, car ticket envelopes, the clear ones. So then I, I sewed these two triangular pieces, the bottom one first. Then I did this one on top of it and glued this in the book. And... I made sure I had a place for it in the back. I learned my net lesson gluing stuff down. This was something I had already made. All I did was use the purple, uh, what's this stuff called? Elderberry on it to color it up a bit. And it just sits right in there. And it, it's, you know, it's, it's a journal card, I guess. Nobody ever writes on them as far as I know. Um, well, maybe somebody does, just not me. Then I had this left over from last time too. I have this stamp and I did it on jelly print, glued it on there and then took my uh, block print. My I have a red rubber line block printer and stamped that on the back for a journal card. That goes here. And I did not put any material there because it makes it even harder. It bulks up the book too much and it's too short really. I mean, it would look kind of silly sitting up like that because it would barely stay in there. This I made out of scraps when I did the Cory Dahman books. I learned how to do this. So it's a slider. It moves. And this is just newsprint. I mean, uh, book print. And then I just randomly glued these things onto a, another random sheet of paper right there, that the tip book text. Then I went over the machine randomly and just sewed. Then I cut it down to the size of this other piece glued on a piece of coffee paper that had the lines printed on it, put the brad in it, there's the brad on the back, and the tab at the top, and you can move it over. Isn't that clever? I just love this stuff. So then I just put this in here. Although I could, could have put this in here. I guess I did once before, huh? There we go. All right, so there's that, and then I had this random piece of paper that was coffee dyed that I did stencils on and I liked the paper and I didn't want to put it away so I just shoved it in the book. It was interesting. What can I say? This is, I went through um, some magazines that I got gifted and I went through and looked for solid colors because I have a book of nothing but um, magazine backgrounds that are solid colors or textured pictures. And this was kind of a plummy, purpley color. I cut that out and just put it on the edge because I didn't have anything on the edge of this one. This I made the other day, and my poor little magnets are starting to come through the paper, but these are those little tiny button magnets that little kids are swallowing. So if you use these in your journals around your kids, please be very careful because they're very dangerous, and little kids have been on the news swallowing these silly things. Then behind that is another book that I made a while ago when I was making all that stuff. And this is just random miscut coffee dyed paper that I was lucky enough to fit in here. And this is somebody's packaging that's a map. And then, you know, it's random. So I just took this and stuck it in the back there. 
I can do it this way. If I didn't have the magnets, I could put it over it to kind of keep it closed. But since I have the magnets, I just slip it in the back. This I is a, um, what is this? This is from, oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? Flicker. And I sewed around it, used the stuff on it, and just glued it onto the paper. I, there's no pocket or anything. This was made from vellum. And inside here is something that I made months, years ago. And it is a matchbook. But it's a matchbook that has paper in it so you can take notes or use it for journals. I learned that from, I think, from Corey Dahman also. So I thought that was a very clever idea. I don't like using staples in my work, but you had to use a staple here at the bottom. And then it just goes inside here. And then I can't remember who did this, the corner pocket stuff. So I did that same paper that was like right here and put it here, inked it up around the edges and put it over the corner. So all I have to do is slide this in there. There's a little tiny Tim Holtz um, paper clip and I just shove it in the corner. Now, I haven't decided what to put here yet, but there's purple scrapbook paper on both sides and I forgot to sew it, but it's on both sides. This is random leftover purple jelly prints at the bottom. Uh, what's next? Uh, because this is held in with a little paper clip on the other side, I took a miscellaneous piece of scrapbook paper and made a little envelope and yes you it still it is open I can put something in it I just tucked it under here because it was cute and then I made a little tiny envelope out of paper that I jelly printed drew on and colored in with a white signo pen and it's you know a little fold out piece of paper and this is just a strip of leftover um, jelly print and I didn't glue it all the way just you know glued it on the end so I can just tuck this into that and that's my closure for that little envelope y'all this stuff is all on the internet believe me I did not come up with any of this all right this was jelly print and I had the ABC red rubber it's a big huge red rubber block print and I printed it on there I made an envelope and did a half inch crease on each side and glued it in there so if I have something that's bulky I have lots of room for growth this is a picture I cut out of a magazine called where women create and there was a painter on there so I cut out a picture they photographed of her paintbrushes I just love the way they look so I put those on the back of some cardstock brown cardstock glued them on there to make them a little more sturdy I was just going to put it in there as an insert and I thought no I really like the way it looks so I glued it onto the here and the bottoms of them just hit right about you know right about there so if I want to put anything in front of it it's okay but I just like the way it looks that way coming out of the pocket then I took this this paintbrush was turned up this way and it was right next to this one and I cut it off then I took her palettes and I cut those out individually and glued those on here with a random piece of jelly print. Um, this is just coffee dyed paper. I wrote this on here, glued the paintbrush on, did the little humps around. This is a, kind of a snippet thing where I took scraps, glued them down, sewed around them, and then glued little extra things on them. And I used it on the edge of the page. My pages get torn up from looking at them, so I wanted to give them a little extra protection, so that's why I do. Sorry, y'all, it was a spam phone call. They never call any other time except for when I want to record a video. <laughs> All right, so I, there's more of that brown paper, so this time I sewed zigzag around it, and I just glued the, I think I glued, did I put... Card, I put cardstock. I I sewed it on, glued it on first to a piece of cardstock to give it some oomph, and then I zigzagged around it. Took some little random drawing I did that was on. Well, it's this kind of stuff where it's like you know the snippet ends of something, and then I turn them over and I draw pictures on them. I doodle all over them, and then save them for when I make journals to add as a little extra doodah on something. So that's what this is. Then that this is you've seen this paper before because that's what a le this was left over from making this. I made a long skinny envelope out of it. 
I think I picked a bad choice in place to glue it, but it's there now, so I gotta live with it. I took some lace that I dyed, and I'm gonna use that so you could open the envelope. And, you know, it's long inside here, so I could put lots of skinny little notepads or one long skinny notepad in there. It's not gonna flop open too often, I don't think. Mm, I hope not. Then I cut three pieces of um, jelly prints on here. I saw somebody do that. I think maybe Corey, I'm not sure. And then I had I made these a couple years ago and they all happen to be kind of the colors that I needed. So I had three of them. So I made three envelopes for these three little miniature tags that are in here. I doodled some flowers, which are this exact same pattern, just different colors. Cut them out, went over them with pen and glued them on to each one of those. This is again another stenciled with a strip of, see it's this, it's coffee dyed paper that I, that I stenciled on and then I fold, I sewed and then I folded it over. Those are my little off cuts. Oh, uh, let's see what's on here. Um, this is another kind of staggered envelope sort of thing. It's out of here. See, I got a lot of stuff tucked in there. And then this is a stamp holder. So it's just a piece of coffee dyed paper that has a very small waist strip of vellum or typing paper or onion skin, whatever's kind of clearish. And it's just sewn on there and you can put, it's a stamp pocket I think is what she calls it. And you just put your little stamps in there. All right, so here is a snippet that I did with random pieces of leftover jelly prints, book text. I cut these off of some ephemera that's what this is. Just random, you know, nothingness. That there. Then this is another one of those swinging things. I mean, I think I have like five or six of these. There's another one. Can I put this one back here? No, I, glue, I think I glued this one completely down, okay. Then this is just a bookmark. I haven't done much to it yet, haven't been inspired. And this is a tiny, I just like get the belly band off, oh, there, there we go. And again, this is one of those little off cuts where I doodled on it, and then it flips up, and it's a piece of skinny coffee dyed paper that I use my friend's stencil on, which I really like. And I just folded it up, and again, I think I got this from Corey Dahman. Then I made a little belly band for it because I didn't, I didn't really do a good fastener on it. So I just, oops, I just made a little tiny belly band for it, and you just slip it over that, and then this just kind of tucks in there. There's a lot on that page. This again is something from Flickr. There are or, they are lavender orchids. I took a piece of paper, just glued the photo on there, and then glued it into the book. There's no pocket or doodah for that one. This is leftover scrapbook paper. I really like this polka dot paper. I'm sad to see it go. Took a journal card and glued it on upside down. Son of a gun. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oop, just noticed. Look at that. <laughs> and then took elements that I really liked of leftover stuff and just glued it onto the card and then wrote grow please. And then it just tucks right in there. And then, guys, I am not a girly girl, but I could not help myself sewing my, the dyed lace that I did during one of the fodder school classes, I could not help myself. I had to I had to sew that on the end. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I like it. I think it's so cute. All right. And again, these are more orchid pictures, uh, purple and lavender orchids, just on old cards that were on the back of some scrapbook piece that was kind of cardstockish. Took a whole sheet of some kind of jelly print. Then I took another piece of jelly print and cut it and made sewed little pockets in it. Here's another one of the orchids. These are off of Flickr. I used to have a professional account. I let it go because their price went up. There's that. Then this is another one of those little snippet bands on the uh, coffee dyed paper. I didn't, did I sew this one? No, I didn't sew this one. Then I took little random pieces of coffee dyed paper 
from when I made the other books, only then I took this and took the makeup brush and brushed it on there to darken it. Did some Asimic writing. I had some ephemera stamps and glued that on there. There's nothing in the envelopes. This is um, an old recipe from when I was a personal chef. <laughs> this one's the same thing. It's just a skinny version. And I found an itty bitty stamp. I don't know where I got that from. I thought it was cute. There, and again, it's just, it opens and you could put something in it, but I haven't done that. Not yet. I might. I don't know. It just depends. Let me slip that under there so it stays because there's a paper clip there. That in there. And then this is just a little random scrap paper notebook that I learned to sew from Corey Dahman. And this was... Is this the one where you sewed? The, no, this is a jelly print that I just cut on the little miniature We Are Memory Keepers uh, envelope board. <coughs> Excuse me, and I just cut that, and I haven't done anything to it either. I don't know if I will, but I wanted to slide that under there so I wouldn't forget where it was. And since this is kind of loose, I try to cram as much stuff in there as I could so that it, it stays in place. All right, this is a busy page. This is a jelly print I did with a stamp I carved. And in order to tone it down, I took another ripped jelly print to put it at the bottom to kind of, you know, lessen it. This I found in a magazine. Again, this was some double-sided thing. Cardstock from a 12 by 12 paper. And then I took miscellaneous rip sheets that I had in a pile, cut the saying out, and then just kind of glued it on there stuck it in the pocket. This is a random piece of paper I didn't want to see go to waste. I'll use it someday in here. This is a um, beep, beep, beep. I have this stamp. Again, it was something I made way in advance and I didn't want to waste any of this stuff so I just kept it. And then this is a double-sided paper clip. Well, is it a double-sided? No, it's not. There's a paper clip on the back but the cool thing is is that there's a slot, a slot. Sorry, now the dog barks. <laughs> anyway, I took some of this paper that was off of here and glued it on there. This is just bits and pieces of all the colors that tied in with everything in here. And this, oh, mercy. Okay, a flea must have passed gas in another state because the, the dogs had to let me know. <laughs> Anyhow, this has a pocket in it along with the giant paper clip with a hydrangea that I drew. And you just slide it right in there. Uh, let's see, the next one is one of those hidden paper clips. I love these things. I am crazy about these. They are great for holding stuff to, that tucks in. And they're just good for interest, period. There's another one of those strip it stips, strips. Oh, there goes the dog again. Must have been more gas. All right, on the back, I did this pocket a while ago and just glued it on here. Hang on. Okay. Um, and just, just a tag I made of leftover random things. There was some saying in a magazine I've been holding on for a couple years, and I thought, it's time for it to go. Today was the day. Oh, there goes the dog again. Thank goodness we're on the last part. And that's it. So thank you, Patricia, for the suggestion. I'm so glad you picked purple. And I'm glad I had, like, most of the stuff I needed. And whatever I didn't have, I came up with over the last few days since the last video. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. And when I finish or make more on these other signatures, I will come back. See how nice and what? I guess I got to go this way. See how it, five signatures fits in there fine. If I make any of these other things fatter, I'm not sure how they're going to fit in here. But we're going to deal with it. We're going to make it work. All right, everybody. Talk to you later. Bye.